Business features were high on the agenda. President Hichilema visiting five companies in two days. But he started his visit to China by paying tribute to the late Chinese visionary Deng Xiaoping, whose reform and opening up policy provided an inspiration for Zambia's modernization. At the Yantian International Container Terminal, Hichilema learned about an important gateway for China's trade with Africa. But as a landlocked nation, Zambia's foreign revenues hinge on how well it uses natural resources, something that China's largest electric vehicle manufacturer, BYD, can offer to help with. Zambia is Africa's second largest producer of copper, a vital material used in the production of EVs, charging facilities and solar panels. And working with a company like BYD could potentially help Zambia improve its mining resource exports, moving from cheap raw materials to higher value products and tapping into new opportunities in a global transition towards greener energy. If Zambia is interested in going electric in transportation, BYD stands ready to offer technological support. Developing electric vehicles will make you less dependent on oil and reduce air pollution in cities. Most importantly, it increases the value of Zambia's corporate resources. Zambia is also building its digital infrastructure to improve government efficiency and the business environment. At Huawei's headquarters, the delegation discovered how a talent program prepares young people in Zambia for a career in Information and Communication Technology, or ICT. But it's my first time to actually meet the president in person, and I really wanted to just encourage the youth to take on such ICT programs, especially females, because where I come from, a lot of females think ICT is a male-dominated industry, and that's what shies them away. But you need to face your fears head on. Hichilema ended his trip at Tencent and ZTE. Both companies have substantial investment in Africa. He hopes a more connected Zambia will become a more attractive regional hub for future business opportunities. We can do more fast because the needs are tremendous in Zambia. And yet some of the solutions are getting. All we need to do is to combine the two together.